I'm Joanna and I'm an artist. I actually create under uh, my alias Stefania Joanna. Stefania is actually my second name. I got it uh, after my grandfather, who was uh, the greatest admirer of my work and my talent. I actually started creating after he passed away. This is kind of a tribute for him. Uh, my works are related to my feelings and uh, my life and I uh, try to balance them between the reality, the performative uh, art and uh, representative art with a little bit of mixture of abstract art and this is who I am. <laughs> I was very scared actually of painting all the time but I was scared of letting the world know that I do it. I created things for my, as we say in Poland, to my uh, shelf. So I uh, created things then nobody knew about it. And I wanted to let the world know that I do things <laughs> and it was very scary but it's kind of good now that I can be myself also in social media or anywhere. <laughs> it starts with thinking about the past, the feelings, the thing between my head and heart and then I have to have this time to process things. I try to sketch them, make sure that it works well with the paper and when it does I translate it to the digital work or sometimes uh, also lino prints or woodcuts, wood prints, yeah. depends. Sometimes I like to use pressure and uh, work of hands and sometimes I'd like to work faster and then I decide to use uh, digital technique. Most inspiration comes from life. Sometimes it's feeling of loneliness and sometimes it's feeling of gratefulness and sometimes I feel scared and I want to create work that is related to this feeling. So actually the greatest inspiration is life. The problem for me right now is balancing my life between my professional life and my creative element because I work full-time as a designer but I also want to discover more skills and create more art. So I'm balancing between working and creating art and also there is no time for rest. Sometimes I'm very tired. <laughs> so th I think that this is the biggest problem for me right now. Also I don't have a really big space for working on my art. This is also so a problem but I think that it will come with a time something will happen something something good will come only recently started posting my work and before that I was very scared of it how people are going to react especially because my works are very intimate and related to my feelings and I didn't want to felt judged or anything so that was very hard because even posting uh, something on Instagram and leaving it there without any comment from my audience in my head I was thinking what well, people are not saying anything maybe they're thinking bad bad things about my work actually it changed after the uh, last event with uh, art fairs and i found audience and found people who appreciated my work and that was inspiring and made me more confident in the things that i do i try to take it easy when it comes to my work and I like to take time in deciding because some works are happening very fast and some works have to rest and grow in time with time sometimes creating part is very fast but the thought that is growing in me to, to make this piece is taking a long, long, long time. For example, one of my works started in my head about six years ago and only recently I found the way to 
translate it into the language that I wanted to. The medium and the all visuals. In this case, I like to, if something isn't working, I'm not trying to push it. I just have to wait and it will grow with the time. Problem with the frustration comes f for me when I have to create something for social media <laughs> because nowadays it's not only the the piece that is uh, that comes is important but also the process and sometimes the process is spontaneous and it happened and if you don't have the documentation of this process it's like it didn't happen so it's very frustrating for me to find time between my inspiration and work and everything time to also uh, make a video about it make a video about your, your art yeah, yeah it's very hard it, because it's another thing that i have to remember and i just want to work on this thing and not think about oh i have to make a video about making things <laughs> It's a very interesting question and I actually didn't thought about it at all. I was focused on on making my fan base or my audience and that was the greatest thing uh, that I wanted to do. I, I wanted to find people who actually like uh, the things that I create and I haven't been thinking about uh, next step. Uh, I was thinking only about the closest future. I would love to travel also but I'm very organized and I uh, love to plan things that are able to happen I don't know how to say it the thing that I would love to have is a workplace my art studio and I haven't thought about the strict pleasure in the future I was thinking about things that I want to learn things that I want to try because every technique is very interesting for me and uh, I would love to have a graphic press or uh, try new graphic techniques and uh, I actually think only about things that I can learn and try in the future. <laughs> I think it's very important to have people around that are cheering for you and trying to let you know that you can do a lot of things that you think that you can't. <laughs> so uh, yes, actually the first art fair that I went, I went with my best friend and we were there for each other and we're going for another one in the next month so we're uh, trying to cheer for each other and yeah I think that uh, it's very important to have uh, friends and audience who support you.